I was in Vegas a couple of weeks ago and it rained. People were, were complaining about the rain. Jeez, it's raining. It rained here like four years ago. I love, I love when they tell you to drink water in that kind of oppressive, deadly heat. Who doesn't know to drink water? I was in Phoenix, 116 degrees. They're coming on the news telling you to drink water. Wow, I was just about to drop dead. Thank God I watched the news. <laughs> Like to hear. We are coming out of a news station, right? Well, our next guest does know a thing or two about the comedy scene, Hollywood, stand-up, and even living from a big family. And he's honed all of that experience into his stand-up comedy over the last couple of decades. Yeah, and this weekend you can see him right here in Tampa. But first, please welcome comedian Dom Irera. Thank Good you. morning. I tell you, I hear some of that stuff. That is funny, and not because it's me, but it, it's a gift, I guess. It's a gift. <laughs> it is I don't know a why gift. I got so much. Thank you, God. <laughs> So much luck. Welcome so to much Tampa. Weight. I gained so much weight. Is that? What you oh mean? no. You said I was on Mike's show, radio show. Yes. We were talking about our eyes closing, right? Now I don't yep. know. I, I told. Uh, He's talking about not, Mike Calta, by the way. My eyes. I'm not even tired. I swear to God. I'm, I look at. I went to an ophthalmologist. True story. Like I love when they say comedians. Uh -huh. True story. Like how about something funny you made up, right? <laughs> and and he, I said, well, he said, what's the problem? He goes, my eyes are closed. And he goes, I can see that. Well, can you help me with it? Yeah, <laughs> thanks. I know I can see it too, barely. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll, that's not a good promotion for the club. Just wanted to tell you. Just wanted to tell you about my eyes. Hey, it's that doesn't affect your it. comedy, though. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. No, I can't see. You can now. still see the stage. You can get up there and do your it. thing. Well, I did hear you say that uh, when people come out and see you for stand-up, it, it's new jokes, it's new material, and you kind of had poked fun at your age a little bit, saying that's because I gotta have the new material so that I can remember it, right? <laughs> You got a good memory. I try. I try. I didn't even remember that we were talking about. Well, maybe that. it's on our cheat sheet too. No, not that one. <laughs> maybe it's because we're close to the millennial line too, which I know you have a lot of fun uh, appealing to the millennials as well, or honestly, maybe poking fun of them. Honestly, we don't, not, not for nothing, the dumbest generation <laughs> I've ever done stand up for because they don't know anything. Everything's in their phones. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I love. They can get God. to it fast though. If they don't know it, they can Google it fast. You know what's great about it? It, it ends arguments. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like that's, it's so different. And I'll tell you, how do you know? I just know. Well, now, now you really know. It's like a different world. It is a different world. One thing though, I want to pick your brain about as far as worlds go. I have a lot of fun here on the show, and I talk about it often. I'm married <laughs> I married into an Italian going. family. Uh -oh. My Italian mother-in-law. I'm everything she what did. What <laughs> uh, I'm English. I'm, I'm just kind of uh, right in the middle of the road. But being a part of an Italian family, I have learned a lot. Any tips to maybe win my mother-in-law over a little bit more? She's actually going to see her this weekend too. So I we need, need it. We, we no. have to Denver, where they all live. That's a rough question. I, I don't know. You know. She has to like you because the fact that why couldn't you meet a nice Italian girl? Exactly. You know, like you could be the sweetest person in the world, but you're yep. not an Italian girl. Yep. That's what I get. And I don't make the pasta. I don't, you know, do the ragu correct, all of that good stuff. As I, I, from what you've grown up, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I was married to a Jewish girl, and they were upset because she wasn't a Catholic and Italian. <laughs> but she won them over by, you know, charm and... Actually, See, there's still, gotta, there's still hope gotta work that on that. Uh, but then yeah. what would I talk about on the show if, she actually, you know, if I didn't have that fun talking about my Italian mother? She was actually the, we were talking about Seinfeld off the uh -huh. Yeah. She, was, she played the mother of the ugly baby. Oh, remember yes. Jerry, the baby. I do. Yeah. I do remember that episode. And she had the most beautiful baby. And uh, Elaine, you know, uh, mm -hmm. what's her name? Uh, Julia, Julia Dreyfus. Yes. Yeah. She would have, have the mind, her kid, and, and my goddaughter. And the, the kid's the prettiest kid in the world. The ugly, remember the ugly baby that they were looking and thinking, ooh. Yes. ooh. I really do remember that episode. That's great. How mean great. was that? I loved it. It's got to be based off of a true story, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, no and Larry I think David. we've all been. I was going to say, well, can I say she announced, I she announced on air. She's actually expecting. She's yeah, got a little and with one chair, in there. So. With child. I know that's No ugly babies here, though. I say I thought you were glowing when I came in. Oh, listen I to that. I interject. <laughs> Listen to that. He's got the charm. He's yeah. got the wit. He's got the comedy. Of course, you can go and enjoy Dom for yourself tonight and tomorrow. Side Splitters Comedy Club. There's the information on your screen along with the website on how you can get tickets. That was a beautiful segue. <laughs> oh God, I try. <laughs> uh, we try. We try here. Thank you, Dom. Thanks for having me on. Good to see you. Thank you.